Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, if you're watching on replay. And welcome to Goddess Shakranath, the journey out of your head and into your body, a chance for you to rewire, recalibrate, rejuvenate your body, mind and spirit. Checking I've got sound there. So well done for getting here this morning and well done if you're watching on replay. Uh, so let us focus today on the warrior. So we're on the third chakra, the warrior, standing in our power, our strength, our confidence, being able to listen to our gut instinct and being guided, standing in that power of resilience and having clear boundaries. So let us use the oil as well if you have it if not use your favorite as always the mia lang just drop it's quite a, quite a thick one but drop it in your hand give it a rub and just allow it into your body just to help you to get out of that monkey mind and into your body with a bit of aromatherapy Breathing it through. Fabulous. Let us go straight into our journey today to get out of our head and into our body, really connect into what we need, letting go of what we don't need and calling in everything we do. So we begin with the uncoiling of the Shakti energy the uncoiling of the energy at the base of our spine, breathing in and breathing out. Going one way and the other, listening to our bodies, keeping our eyes closed. Ah, where do we need to let go? Where needs loosening this morning, this evening? looking up, breathing into your diaphragm, breathing it out all the way down. Through all of your chakras and out your body. Mm. Seeing all the chakras Maybe start to see a golden thread going all the way down your body. Keeping you together. For three. And two. And one, pushing it right out, beautiful. Okay, let's do some fire breathing. So pulling up your malabanda, pulling up your pelvic floor, perineum, rectum, bringing it all up, shrugging your shoulders, breathing through your nose.
for three, two, and one. Take a deep breath in. Just hold your breath for a moment and then fight it out, okay? Just adding that in now. Arms out, hands on your shoulders, thumbs to the back, breathing into the left, right out. Same thing, twisting, go at your own pace. Three, and two, and one. Breathe in, just hold your breath for a few seconds, and then sigh it out. Holding your breath just brings you to full capacity of your lungs, for the energy in your palms. Go on to all fours. So you can do some cat cow. So sticking your bottom out, breathing in, breathing up into your body, all the way through your body, wriggle it through. Remember, it doesn't have to be stagnant. Wriggling it in, wriggling it out through your body. three and two and one into a child's pose stretching your arms out active and then relax <sighs> into a cobra stretching out your back <sighs> let it go unwind uncoil back to child pose stretching your arms out breathe it through onto all fours again round one way and then ha, out of your mouth and the other ha. in your arm, take a deep breath in, ha, ah, fly it out, okay, and when you're ready, get yourself into a downward dog, just walk your feet out, if you're bending your knees, and then just walk your feet to your hands, and come up, Okay, great. The sight out of your mouth. Feel the energy you're creating in your palms. It's good to rest and digest between poses. Okay. So now into the shake out, bending our knees, taking out from the top of our bodies, letting ourselves just go. Shake out however you like. Shake it around the body. Go into a rag doll. Walk slowly, whatever you need to shake it out. Get rid of anything stagnant energy in your body. Remember a daily practice, a daily sadhana. Change your life so many ways. So well done.
out of your mouth and feel it in your palm for the energy in your aura and the tingling and sensations of energy being created in your body. Rest and digest between. Okay, now moving into your root chakra, moving into the pulse of your body. Feel the pulse of your body through holding your yoni. And if you can get further onto your perineum, which is the place between your rectum and your yoni, this is the place of the shushumna, the energy center, the energy channel in your body to your chakras. Ah, that connects Shiva and Shakti, divine feminine, divine masculine. So just feel the pulse of Mother Earth in you, feeling grounded, secure, safe in your body. So this is all about releasing fear and then padding into the ground, padding into Mother Earth, using your palms, using your feet, padding and drumming around your body, whichever way your body takes you. Breathing, eyes closed, so interesting gaze.
Breathe it out, fly it out of your mouth. Ah, feel the energy in your palm. Ah, let it all go. So moving now into your sacral chakra, into your temptress and your creatrix, keeping the watery flow, the ease and grace in your hips. The dancing, however you wish to dance. Salsa, jive, three movements, but keep your, your hips flowing to bring out that sacred sexuality and that need for creativity. Let's keep it moving. We don't want any hip replacements for anyone here. Shifting out the trauma from the body in the sacral chakra, in the womb, releasing where we store it.
out of your mouth, feel it in your palms, feel the energy. So now moving into the solar plexus, into your fire, into your warrior, the focus of today, to stand in your power, to listen to your gut instinct, to cut away everything that does not serve you, all your limiting beliefs, all your generational trauma, Let's cut it all away, cut away. People pleasing, saying no today instead of yes. So coming from your gut instinct, let's play this full out. This is the time when I invite you to turn on your cameras, keep your eyes open and to dance with me full out in full power. Yes, well done, Cara, I can see you on my iPad. I have. <laughs> camera here and now I have another device here so fabulous let's do this let's work together beautiful Got you here, right next to me. <laughs> On the iPad. She caught in the dance, plug it in and we begin. Crowd up in the center, they watch me with him. Watch the way we drop it in a mix time. It. Rise and amplifying when we come in with the swing. Just follow in the back and naturally harmonizing. Climbing to position with synchronized. Go! 
Jamaica in the dance, plug it in and we begin. Crowd up in the center, they watch the dividend. Watch the way we drop it in and mix time it. Rise and amplify it when we come in with the swing. Just follow in the back and naturally harmonizing. Climbing to position with synchronized it. Live from outer ghetto we maximize it. Sound of the move our mother with super styling. With super styling. of your mouth mm, thank you so much for dancing with me ah, beautiful we're moving now into the heart space into the inner child and the maiden tapping into those feelings of rejection and abandonment and then bringing in feelings of love, compassion, kindness, trust, and forgiveness into our heart, tapping the thymus, uh, our immunity, tapping our immunity in the thymus, and then giving the maiden a great big hug. You are enough, you are worthy, you are loved. And then touching the body, touching the skin, crossing the masculine and the feminine from both sides of the body, bringing in the elements south, up through your yoni, across your breath, giving yourself a hug. There are no mistakes. There are only initiations into the goddess, into the heart chakra, through the chakras and around the energy body, opening up your heart space. To let through everything that's coming up, the trauma, the shame, burning it up in the solar plexus and bringing it up into the heart space to be tapped out. So let us begin. You can move into the maiden sequence whenever you wish. So begin your tapping. Tapping into the thymus, tapping in the Can you feel 
breathe it side out of your mouth. <sighs> okay, now coming to the throat chakra, the medicine woman, the ability to heal yourself through what you say to yourself and others and what you put into your body. So I invite you now to come down to go up as always. <sighs> Let's sit down as comfortably as possible in easy pose or whatever pose you need to sit on. So we are opening up the, th the throat chakra. This is where we have our thyroid. So it's no surprising that women have thyroid issues because they have the sometimes have the inability to say what they feel. So this is an opportunity for us to open up this area of our being and mantra sing. This is a mantra daily prayer. We'll do a few minutes of calling in the Vedic goddesses, and we're going to sit in um, wisdom mudra, Gayan mudra, uh, arms straight, fingers together, uh, or bent, depending on how you sit, no problem, you can move as always, but just allow your throat to vibrate and to let out any secrets and lies or things you have to say. Shakti 
by it out of your mouth. Ah, you know, the energy in your palms. And if you close your eyes, you might even start to see your auric field. The white light might be colored around your body. Now moving to the third eye, to your intuition, to your drishti, your wise woman, to opening up, to listening to the whispers that are coming through outside the monkey mind. And they may come in through the front, through your higher consciousness, or they may come through the back, through your subconscious. And imagine again here, a golden thread going through your pituitary gland, through your third eye and out the back of your head. Just focusing now on that portal to see what comes through. So just focusing into the light, looking up into your eyebrows, just really trying to look into the third eye. The third eye will open up all the other chakras. So we really need to ah, get, get ninja with this, get focused on the third eye. So meditation, hands down, stillness, a few minutes, See how we do. Ah, I did a deep hack to help us. creates turbulence in our mind. And when there is turbulence in our mind, then it interferes with the creativity of our soul. Creativity and judgment don't go together. Judgment also means letting go of the need to classify things, to call them either right or wrong, to label, to define, to describe, to evaluate, to analyze. Let go today. Judge not today. Today I will practice non-judgment. This affirmation is about releasing the need to be judgmental. Just make this your lesson today. Consider what <coughs> happens when you judge someone. It makes another person wrong. Someone else is wrong to feel in a certain way, to look a certain way, to hold certain opinions. Judgment immediately creates separation. Any person who is wrong then becomes them. The need to judge arises from the need to be isolated. This is the ego's form of defense. But at the same time, you are pulling away from your true self. The same walls that keep other people away also shut off the flow of spirit. When you learn not to judge, you are basically saying, I'm willing to let anything in without deciding first whether it is good or bad. In the practice of openness, you will be inviting your soul to be intimate with you. So put your attention in your heart right now and just repeat to yourself, today, I will judge nothing that occurs. Today, I will judge nothing that occurs. Today, I will judge nothing that occurs. And by letting go of my judgments today, I will experience silence in my mind. By shedding the burden of judgment today, I will experience silence in my mind and in this silence I will find the ecstatic impulse which is also the evolutionary impulse of the universe and I will align myself with the ecstatic evolutionary impulse of the universe by letting go of all my judgments. Today I will not classify I will not label, I will not define, I will not describe, I will not evaluate, I will not analyze. Today, I will shed the burden of judgment. out of your mouth, feel it in your palms, feel the energy, 
And now moving to the highest point, the crown, our spiritual selves, our soul vows, the reaching up into the sky to bring down your crown onto your head. And if you prefer today, maybe look at and imagine, because this is the Hasaraharasra crown chakra in Sanskrit, which is the thousand petal lotus. So you can imagine a crown made of, of a lotus, of a beautiful lotus flower, placing it on your head so that you become the high priestess, giving yourself permission to stand in your power and giving permission to others your family, your friends, your community to do the same. So this is where I send you Reiki, love and light from my body to yours. So let us open ourselves up to all possibilities, lying on our back, feet placed on the floor, holding on to, well actually first we will breathe out, left hand on your heart, right hand on your solar plexus, Take a deep breath in, filling up your diaphragm, breathe it through and out, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Place your hands between your legs. I send you Reiki love healing and light into your root chakra, into letting go of fear, giving you security, safety in your own body. Good ground for foundation, good roots, good ground, good foundation. Repeat the mantra, I am deeply rooted today and I let go of all fear. I am deeply rooted today, and I let go of all fear. I am deeply rooted today, and I let go of all fear. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Then to your sacral chakra, to your womb space. To your temptress and your creatrix, and all that flows for your creativity. Giving thanks to your womb, releasing all trauma that's stored here. Repeat the mantra, I release all trauma from my body today. I release all trauma from my body today. I release all trauma from my body today. Take a deep breath in. Then sigh it out. <sighs> Moving to your solar plexus, I send you Reiki love healing and light into your solar plexus, into your warrior goddess, into standing in your power listening to your gut instinct, no more people pleasing, not today. Resilient boundaries. Today I have good boundaries and I stand in my power. Repeat the mantra, today I have good boundaries and I stand in my power. Today I have good boundaries and I stand in my power. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. And then to the heart chakra, Ah, just raking it out, if you like, just pulling it open of more, even more than it already is. The place where we are burning up all the shame and the fear in our solar plexus and letting it up into our heart to expand into joy, love and playfulness, ridding fear and rejection, ridding anything that does not serve us. Repeat the mantra. I am enough, I am worthy, I am loved. I am enough, I am worthy, I am loved. I am enough, I am worthy, I am loved. Take a deep breath in. Right. Then to the throat, to the medicine woman, to speaking your truth. Saying it as it is, not worrying about how it lands. I send you Reiki love, healing and light. Repeat the mantra. I will say it as it is today. I will say it as it is today. I will say it as it, as it is today. Take a deep breath in. And to the portal of the third eye, to the wise woman who hears everything outside of herself today, I send you Reiki, love, healing, and light. Repeat the mantra I am open to hearing 
the guidance coming through. Today I'm open to hearing the guidance that is coming through. Today I am open to hearing the guidance that is coming through. Deep breath in. And to that crown, either the jeweled crown or the thousand lotus petal, lotus petal, petal lotus <laughs> leaf. <sighs> Bringing it on your head. I send you regular love, healing and light into your crown chakra, into your higher self, into that high priestess, that queen that you deserve to be. Place your hand behind your head. In fact, you can rub your feet and hands together. Hands behind your head, opening up all your chakras to all possibilities today. I send you with and light. Repeat the mantra. I am Queen B today. I am Queen B today. I am Queen B today. And I listen to my Melissa. And my Melissa is all my other sisters who help me on my way look for guidance today. I listen to my my Melissa, listen to my sisters for guidance today. I listen to my sisters for guidance today. Take a deep breath in. Quiet down. Bring your knees up loosely into cha- uh, to happy baby, opening up the hips further, letting out what's left of anything that you need to rid Hi, happy baby, if you can. And then stay in Savasana on replay if you want to sleep or come up to start your day. Take feet back on your mat. Put your hands on your body. Take a deep breath in, fire down. Take a deep breath in, fire down. Take another deep breath in, fire out. Have a beautiful day, love and light to you all. Take care.